Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. I posted a video a couple of days ago regarding the new side panel feature available now in the stable version of the Google Chrome web browser, which places a little square icon in the top right of your toolbar where you can show and hide the side panel. Now, just basically, just to summarize very quickly, uh, you can access your reading list and you can manage your bookmarks straight from the side panel um, from the right hand side of your browser which just pins it as a sidebar and side panel to your desktop and if this is something you would use that could be useful and um, I also posted a video where if you don't like this new feature which is enabled by default you can also hide it using a flag and I will leave both these videos down below if you are interested. Now this video is just a quick video to mention that um, the overnight update to the Microsoft Edge Canary browser, which is a pre-release version that uh, Microsoft uses to test um, new features and experiment on new features. Now also has the new side panel, show and hide side panel uh, button in the toolbar enabled by default. And if we click on it, it's exactly the same as I've just showed you in the Google Chrome web browser, which basically as mentioned, um, lets you uh, access your reading list and manage your favorites. Now at this stage, um, uh, it seems to be enabled due to the Chromium upstream change because Edge and um, Chrome are based on the open source Chromium platform. And Microsoft has said in the past that they are not intending to bring reading lists to uh, the Edge browser. So at this stage, I think uh, this could just be a, a temporary feature that just be, uh, because of that Chromium upstream change. And I think in the next day or two, this might disappear. But I just wanted to show you, um, in case you are using the Edge browser and are especially using the Edge Canary version, just to try and out new features. And uh, um, this is very similar to, um, as an example, if we go to our collections and we can pin that, we already have a side panel for a lot of the functions and features in Edge. So I doubt that this would be something that Microsoft would be bringing uh, to any version of Edge. And as mentioned, um, is just, I personally think, is a temporary feature that will disappear in the next day or so. And then just another small little um, uh, change, just to point out, in case you are using Edge Canary, you will see also with that overnight update that the toggles, the controls in the top right uh, for minimize, uh, restore down, and close are red where those are normally, you know, just the normal white color or or black, depending on what theme you're using. And that's the first time I've actually seen them in red, but I think that's just a little bug and that will also disappear. And um, you must remember we are using uh, Edge Canary, which is a very unstable version of the browser. So this could be a little bug which will rectify itself as well in the next couple of days. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.